This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. Listen, there's a new private lawsuit filed against <laughs> Avi Rubenstein, GTS Securities, Charles Schwab, FINRA, Gary Gensler, and the SEC for the fraud allegedly committed by these bad actors in the MMTLP fiasco, a gentleman by the name of Scott Trout, T-R-A-U-D-T, I'm pronouncing it wrong, but he has filed a lawsuit in federal court in Vermont, and he is looking for damages. He's alleging that they violated the RICO laws of the united states of america and i'm going to tell you guys something when i first started talking about rico lawsuits over two years ago people told me i was a conspiracy theorist and now everybody sees what i was seeing over two years ago the actions of these bad actors violate our rico laws and they should be held accountable and one thing about this lawsuit, and I wasn't even aware of this lawsuit. Ethan put this lawsuit on my radar, and then I started looking at it and reading it. And one of the things in the lawsuit that's going to cause a lot of havoc is the LOPA ruling by the Supreme Court. And it seems to negate this immunity that FINRA and DTCC claims that they have, okay? It gives the courts the option to apply the Chevron rule or not apply it. And I believe it's going to cause a lot of havoc for all these SROs that feel they're immune from prosecution, they're immune from litigation, that they can rob and steal from retail investors and pension funds with no consequences whatsoever and hide behind the fact that they're immune from prosecution, but it seems like that is over. First of all, as in my lawsuit, you can't engage in criminal activity and then claim immunity from prosecution or immunity from being held accountable in court. But the Loba decision takes it a step further that even if you're acting in your official capacity, you still can be held liable. The bottom line is this. The more individual lawsuits against these bad actors, the better. Like I said in a previous video, probably like two years ago, they are prepared for class action lawsuits, okay? They are definitely prepared for class action lawsuits, but they're not prepared for individual investors filing lawsuits against them for their criminal activity in every single jurisdiction in the United States that is going to eat into their profits, that's going to cause them headaches, and it's going to cause judges to realize that there must be a real major problem with the United States stock market and the fraud and corruption in the United States stock market is so prevalent and accepted by our regulatory agencies that everyday retail investors are so sick and tired of it that they have found that their only attempt at any recourse is going into a court of law. And now we have the LOPA ruling, which in my opinion, just my opinion, negates this qualified immunity that DTCC and FINRA likes to claim. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that more retail investors need to file lawsuits in their jurisdiction against these bad actors who've been robbing from retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the rules? And do you think these are RICO violations that the courts need to hold these bad actors accountable for? Anyway, have a great day. God bless and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.